Hello, my name is Piotr Straczyk. I'm from Warsaw, from Sultan Institute for Nuclear Studies. And I recently started a Marie Curie, Marie Curie Fellowship at CERN here. And my work here is dealing with muons, basically with muon reconstruction and with physics analysis concerning muons. Uh, mostly non-standard muons, so either very energetic muons, TV muons, and the, the problems with reconstruction of those, or muons that, are, that come off time. So, for example, things that may look like off-time muons, like heavy stable charge particles, stuff like that, the, the, the challenges in, in, in reconstructing those. So that's my main fields of interest in currently. How long have you been involved with CMS experiments? With CMS? Uh, it goes way back to my master thesis, so it's, I think it's something like five, seven years, more or less. Because you already have your PhD. Yeah, I just, I finished my PhD, uh, I don't remember, two, two years ago or something. <laughs> yeah, sort of two years ago. And uh, so now you are going to stay here for a fellowship? Yeah, for two years. For two years. And um, how do you like uh, being here? Well, I, I like it a lot. I mean, it's it's. I like the the surroundings. For, for, apart from the obvious things of being able to work here with with all the people and stuff like that. Well, that's that's of course natural. But I like the placement of CERN itself. The the, the vicinity of the mountains on one side, on the other side, you can go skiing, you can go I don't know climbing, whatever. It's it's perfect. Could you tell us uh, how does your day look like? My day. Oh, first of all, I wake up earlier than I want to. I don't know why why this happens. I, I'm staying. I'm no. I'm staying in Saint Genis. I'm staying in Saint Genis and yeah, yeah. This is close enough so that I can walk in principle or take a bike or whatever. I, now that I have a car, it becomes harder and harder to to take a bike. But I'm trying to really do that instead of driving. But I'm lazy. But okay, today I drove a bike, for example. So <laughs> because we have a nice weather. <laughs> yeah, the weather was it's actually take a car. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Today I wasn't sure, but it, so far so good. I don't, I'm not sure what's going to be on, on my way back, but okay, whatever. So yeah, I, I, wait, I well, I get up. I mean, I come here, then just sit, write, read emails, try try to do some work, whatever. And uh, normal stuff. So you usually you work in the office. Yeah, yeah, I sit in the office. You don't it, go it, to I don't go to point five. I would like to go to point five every once in a while, but. Considering, I mean, my work is just analysis, software development, so reconstruction, whatever. So it's it's just you know, <laughs> computer-based <laughs> stuff. Yeah. Okay. So, and um, could you tell us how uh, did you get involved with physics? Ah, uh, yeah. With. And when was it? Yeah. Okay. So well, I'm not the type of person that was you know set. I had my mind set like when I was a little kid. I said, okay, I want to be like Albert Einstein or whatever. Uh, when I look back, I think it was more or less the high school age when I, my high school teacher actually showed me that physics could be something more than just this one of these school subjects that I'm reasonably good at, uh, but don't really feel that it's anything special. But he showed me that physics can be something more than this science, but also a way of thinking about the world or a way of approaching problems in general, the way a physicist thinks. So I, I, I found that attractive and then... After I finished high school, I had to choose some something to study, and I basically did a neg negative selection. All the humanities were out because I, I basically were was not good at those. So, and the economic stuff, I also got tired of this. I, I was really I didn't like the idea of this like narrow-minded pursuit for money or whatever. It it didn't suit my attitude. So, what I was left with were the sciences. I I, tr I thought about some IT stuff, but. I, in the end, I chose physics as the only one that was really interesting to me. So, and, and then then it just went naturally. I, I I thought, okay, particle physics, okay, I like this. And then I okay, then I I, I graduated. So I said, well, I I don't want to get a real job. I I want to stay with this business. <laughs> so I I started my PhD. And, and do you like this business? Yeah, I like this business. <laughs> I like this business a lot. I still don't want to have a, a real job. <laughs> okay, so um, and uh, after. So many years in physics, you can probably tell us what do you like the most in this. Uh, uh, well, one thing I like is physicists. Actually, I like the company of physicists. It may, may seem strange, but it's 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 a biased sample of the population, and it, it, actually the, the the people are. Well, I I get along with people from this sample. Okay, it's it's lots of you meet lots of people that that you can get along with really good. And so I. Assume that you are a physicist, and uh, 
you are doing some other things that working with physics every day. Do you have any hobbies? Uh, yeah, I have a bunch of hobbies. I actually have a second job as a musician. It's it's even more than a hobby. It's, second job? Yeah, it's, it's a, it used to be a, a nighttime job as opposed to the, a daytime physics job back in Poland. Now that I'm here, it's, well, it's kind of external. I'm an external member of a band. I, I play guitar remotely. So, uh, yeah, so it, it used to be a second job when I was back in Poland because in the day I had to work as a physicist, in the night I had to work as a musician. And <laughs> I, I tried not to. I mean, you, okay. uh, every once in a while you could, you could find a few, few hours to do that, right? <laughs> it's really a waste of time. <laughs> so, and what kind of music? Oh, I play rock music, basically. Uh, all, all types of rock music, uh, yeah. I try, to, I, try, I try to do a lot of different things besides just playing. I, I, I did some, uh, I've worked on recordings, wrote some music. Now, now the thing that, since I'm really ex an external member, what I do is I just write music and send it via email to the, the guys back. We have, we've, we've recently started uh, work with a string quartet, a rock band plus a string quartet. We have a string quartet that, that's playing concerts with, with us, and I'm writing the music for, for, for them. So now I'm spending time studying classical pieces to learn how to write music for a quartet, and I'm sending the, the music f in emails to, 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 to those guys, and they just keep playing this in, in rehearsals. And every once in a while, I, I get to when we play a bigger concert, I just jump on a plane, fly over to Warsaw, and 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 give a show, just so just to have a break. Even being here, you you will be traveling. Uh, yeah. And giving concerts. Yeah, I need that. I need I that. need that. I need that. I I couldn't live without it. Did you take your guitar with you? Yeah. Here? Yeah, I had I had a spare one that I used to that I, that I brought here way back when I was coming here for for one week periods so that I, I could play. So th this one was actually on site. It was in my office, and now I brought the the one that I normally play. So I have two. <laughs> <laughs> and when did you start uh, to practice your uh, let's say practice your hobby? <laughs> that was that was a long time ago actually. I think I think as a as a guitar player I'm I'm, I'm in my teens right now. I'm like 15 years of playing or something. I'm not I'm not really sure. It was it was in high school. It was in, a, in high school, some time ago. So you. You are playing in a band, and what's yeah. the name of the band? Jokashin. It's a it's a Polish band. Uh, used to be famous ten years ago. Now it's not, but will be definitely. <laughs> we we actually we had our five minutes a year ago when we we did a something something that's unique on the world worldwide scale because we shot the first ever music video with a mobile phone. We took a mobile phone and shot an actual music video with that uh, for free for zero, whatever currency you want to put. <laughs> And we actually even edited for we we took a free you know video making program and we used that to edit it so the cost was zero, and we published it we we we, we even made it f to to the news but then uh, we didn't do anything to f to follow up so you know the hype <laughs> just died out, out but okay. Wow, so uh, you have a big hobby. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So apart from cycling. Yes. Okay, <laughs> cycling. I I, could, I wouldn't call it. It's, it's it's a means of travel for me. It's not okay. a hobby. I as w when it comes to sport, I, I I prefer different things. I mean, yeah, cycling is just a means music. of getting. <laughs> music is your sport. Yeah, music. No, music is music is my second job. Sports. I, I I do. I play volleyball and I and I. Well, two years ago I started rock climbing and I really enjoy that. I'm not very good, but I I like it a lot. So that's that's concerning sports. Okay. Okay. So. That's all for for today, and uh, we wish you a good luck in your fellowship and uh, in your rock <laughs> life star. <laughs> Thank you very much. We hope you uh, manage to travel Warsaw uh, from time to time, giving a concert and. <laughs> Yeah, hopefully we'll play here <laughs> sometime. Yeah, why not? There is a hard running festival. Yeah, July, we we I might think, think we might, we we'll think about yeah, it. Probably not this July, but friends. yeah, somebody has to pay them to come. But sure, yeah. <laughs> if not this year, maybe next yeah, year. Yeah, we'll think about it definitely. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you.